how long do we have to wait? Anastasia, for this whole, whole process to unfold. Um, yeah. We still haven't seen, in some ways, the liquidity squeeze kicking in. We're only getting into, still, the process of QT. Rates are continuing to go higher from here and could go significantly higher from here. How much more pain is there still to be felt? Yeah, I mean, I, I think something needs to break, to your point, and we need to feel this pain. And I think this could be a three to six months process. And I say this because the Fed wants to get to that 4.6% rate by, by February. I mean, they're going to do the bulk of that by the end of the year. And I think what's likely to happen in the next few months is, if you look at the economy, it's already on the brink. It's already sort of teetering on this break-even level, if you look at things like PMIs and new orders, for example. But we may very well see in the next next few months, just given the amount of tightening in the economy, we may start to see more layoffs. We may start to see the initial jobless mm -hmm. claims goes up. And I think once you start to see that, that's when the markets will finally start to price in greater recession probabilities. And here's the thing, Guy. It's not like we need to be in a recession or see a recession. We just need to price it in. So to the extent that the markets hmm. price it in in the next three to six months, I, I would think the value would finally emerge in equities. Oh, that's interesting. So basically, as long as the market can do the Fed's job for it, maybe they have a little bit more wiggle room. Does that imply the potential for a Fed soft landing? I, I mean, maybe. I, I think we might still end up with some sort of at least a mild recession. But I guess the point that I'm trying to make is that the markets will price it in before that. And even when we start to see recessionary job numbers and then the recessionary economic numbers, maybe the market at that point does not need to move lower still. Uh, it will have already priced that in. I mean, that, that's typically what happens. Um, but I think the Fed is resolute in bringing down inflation, I think they've sort of conceded that in order to have lower inflation, they need to have higher unemployment rate. There's just no way about, uh, around that.